Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Trick Shot for the Atari 2600. In the first video, we learned how to do all of the Trick Shot modes puzzles, or screens, or tables, or what have you. Of course, those were all practice boards. Trick Shot mode. The actual trick, much trick shot mode is actually going to be the same nine boards that we did in the first video, except we only have one shot to do every single one of them. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are on one T and we will start. So for this one, I want to make sure that I have this thing all the way to the left, then hold the fire button down and shoot. This should get me over to getting three points. Now I need to remember what I did to do this. And I just now remember that I had to hit the blue ball. So that I can bounce off it, hit the red one, and then I can go from there. Number three. I remember that the dot had to be close, and I think this is it. This is definitely it. Now I just need to hold down the fire button long enough so that way I can do this. And now I need to just get this just a little up from pure left, and then I need to shoot this. didn't seem like I should have been able to do that, but I did. And now for this one, the one that had the slightly convoluted explanation of what to do. Just tap left once, hold down the fire button. The longer you hold it down, the faster the ball goes, up to a certain point after you hold it for a couple of seconds, and there you go. Now... I need to figure out what it was. I believe it was this one. I believe this was the angle I had to shoot it at. Okay, it is that one. And I need to get this just upwards of the ball. And if I do this one right, I should be able to get this. All right. Now for number eight. And I remember that the dot was not close to the ball as I shot this. If I can do this right. There we go. Yeah, you'll be able to get all the points that you can get, along with a few bonus points, if you can clear every screen. And if I remember correctly, I think this one had to be just above the ball as well. And if I can pull this off right, I can get the perfect score of 37. Can we do it? Nice. Actually managed to pull that off. So, if you get the perfect score of 37, you'll get a trophy instead of a Magic 8 Ball. at the right side of your score, which is pretty neat. And since that took a little less time than I thought it would, I'm going to go ahead and play one player pool, where I can sh talk about a few more things, and maybe, just maybe, see how well I can do, or how poorly. 
So, first off, you definitely want to make that straightaway shot right here. And from here, can I do this? Well, I thought I could. I am not the best shot in the world. I mean, I had to look up everything in order to get the perfect score of 37 and just nail all those trick shots. And I had to take the longest time just to make all these shots. So for pool mode, you have to be the first to score 15 points. And it's pretty easy if you're playing on one player mode because it's just you. You can take as many shots as you want. The game doesn't get, reward you for doing well. And the game doesn't penalize you if you do poorly either. This is basically just therapeutic pool. There is a 2P mode, which is two-player pool. And you and a friend alternate. You basically take turns hitting all the balls. You just have the white cube ball as well as the red, blue, and yellow balls that you have to deal with. And... Come on, get in there. You did not get in there. Ugh. And the first of 15 in that mode wins. And I cannot even deviate even slightly from that. Or else the game is going to make me pay for it. Now, you're probably wondering how I'm making that sound, that little rushing sound. Every time I shoot a ball. Well, when you hold down the fire button, you can either hold up or down on the joystick. And you can add some English to the ball. By holding up, you can make the ball go a little faster. And by holding down, you can make the ball go a little slower. If you hold up or down for too long, you'll get this little rushing noise, which is basically you tearing at the fabric of the pool table. It doesn't harm the pool table in any way. You don't get penalized for doing this. Really? You don't get penalized for doing this. You can do that as many times as you want. It's just there. And I wonder, can I do it this way? Yes, I can. So by sinking three balls, we get five points. If we can sink all three whole groups of balls, we will complete pool mode. At least the one-player version of it. Again, the game doesn't penalize you if you do poorly, and the game doesn't reward you if you do well. That may be a good or bad thing, depending on your perspective, but at least you can take time and just fool around and just do this how you want, which is pretty cool. Please don't fall in. Thank you. Um, I guess I can shoot the ball that way and hold up to get some English and make the ball go faster. That'll bounce that around, but I think I can do something with that, maybe. Maybe. I said maybe. And what if I were to aim in this direction? Excellent. I managed to sink a pool shot the way I wanted. Can we do this? Well, not really. And it looks like I'm going to have to shoot straight ahead in order to make this work. But it can go. It didn't. I thought maybe that would bounce off a little bit. but I thought it would bounce into that top center pocket, but it didn't. 
Maybe it'll go... It won't even go in there, really. Well, how about now? Oh, now you'll just go straight. Uh, I'm not liking this. And that didn't do what I wanted it to do either. So now I'm going to have to bounce this off the wall. And that didn't go exactly as I wanted it, but it still worked. And now I have one more set of balls. And if I can sink this, I can get my 15. Nice. Let's see if we can sink the yellow one. Get used to having the same three balls over and over. Because the the red, yellow, and blue balls, as well as the white cue ball you shoot, those are the only ones you're going to see because of memory problems. Well, not memory problems, but, me but memory limitations. And apparently, I forgot it was 25, not 15. Well... That gives me more time to play this then. Come on, sink it. Good. I don't know how I'm going to do this. What if I did it this way? Well, that'll give me more room for stuff, I guess. What if I sink it straight downwards? Okay. Well, that gives me something to play around with. Let's go ahead and see if we can sink the yellow ball again. We can! Nice! Now, let's see if this will move the blue ball in an angle that I want to move it in. It did! And now we just have one more rack to go. So... Let's separate these and then see what we can do. It look, looks like I'm aiming straight for the blue ball. And that only moved it around so much. I might as well go ahead and show off the... What happens if you hold down after holding down the far button. Apparently it does that. As opposed to up. Maybe up slows it down and down speeds it up. Kind of hard for me to tell. I just know that holding up or down will make the ball do strange things sometimes. And I think I can sink the yellow ball now. Or so I thought. Great. Well, what about the red one? Apparently that didn't go as well as I thought it would either. I'm going to try for this angle and see if I can go for the red ball again. It went right into the, to, to, into the blue ball. Fun. At this point, I'm just trying to see what works, what sticks, what doesn't. And I was having some luck here with some of the shots, but now it doesn't seem like I can do what I need to do. And I think this is the only way I'm going to be able to hit the yellow ball. And it worked. And I got to move the red ball a little bit. But I still can't pocket anything. This is annoying. What happens if I were to do this? The ball did not go where I wanted it to.
And now I'm going to have to shoot this at a angle that will not benefit me. Or maybe it did because I managed to bounce the yellow ball into the blue one. Well, that works. As frustrating as this can be, at least the game isn't penalizing me in any way. And the ball running into the wall multiple times like that is for me holding up for the English. I need to check my notes to see what the English does. If I can find out where it is. I do have notes on me. And I've been using those to play the game so far. And it doesn't seem like I really have anything. Not offhand, unless I actually looked at the manual. But apparently shooting in that direction allowed me to do a trick shot that allowed me to shoot the yellow ball into the bottom center, center pocket. Now let's see what this does. Hopefully this will go in there. It didn't. Uh, maybe this will go in? No? Well, how about now? Still no. This is embarrassing. I thought that maybe I'd not do something like that for one. And that maybe I'd be able to sneak the corner pocket. So up does speed it up, down does speed it down. And there we go. We finally managed to get the red ball into the pocket in the center there. So that is basically pool for one with trick shot for the Atari 2600. We've seen the track, the trick shot practice modes. We've seen the trick shot mode itself. And we also played a little bit of pool. At least you can't mess up the pool mode. So, unless I can somehow get a two-player billiards game with someone else set up as a bonus video, I think this is going to do it for this game. So, how does this game stack up? It's not a bad game. You're only going to have three balls to smack around with the white cue ball due to system limitations. But what is here can be fun for a few minutes. You can easily tell what everything is just from looking at the graphics. The controls are pretty simple. You can put English on the ball and you can hold the fire button down to shoot the ball more powerfully up to a certain point. There's not much sound in music. You just get sound whenever you pocket a ball or you win a round or get extra points in trick shot or win or do virtually anything of note in this game. It's a very minimal game, but again, this was a game that appeared on the Atari 2600 in 1982. There's not a whole lot here, but there, you can still have a couple, a, a little bit of fun with it for a couple of minutes. So, if you see this one, pick it up if you can, give it a shot. You can just blow off some steam with the pull mode, and you can figure out how to do the trick shots yourself. Other than that, there's really not much else to say. So, this has been Let's Play Trick Shot, the Pool for One edition for Atari 2600. Hopefully I'll be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. 
Thanks for watching and see you guys later.